Where's the time for our soul? Where's the time to go within? So the soul represents the yin energy and the yin archetypal energy of yin is being fluid, it's flexibility, it's intuition, it's going within and slowing down. So in the reframe of work-life balance to soul-life balance, we realize that work is a part of the human experience. It's a part of living. And first and foremost, we're putting a prioritization to our soul. And very much like when you go on an airplane and there's the oxygen mask, you put your oxygen mask on first, fill your cup up first, then you help others. That's what soul life balance is about. We're putting ourselves first and foremost. Have you ever chased a goal and put everything you had into achieving that goal before? I know I have. In fact, I've done it many times from completing triathlons with no experience in swimming, running, cycling, any of that type of stuff, to building a million dollar business while working less than four hours a day, creating a podcast media network where I had the opportunity to interview Super Bowl champions and the who's who of Silicon Valley. I did all of these things and even wrote three books in less than a year. And you, thank you, thank you. But you think, I don't say that to brag, I say that to really show my true colors, if you will, and my vulnerability, because that point in time, I was actually named to Silicon Valley's 40 under 40 list at just 31 years old. But what I didn't expect was to go through a numbing depression. And what really happened was I realized after doing the deep spiritual work, the deep inner work these past few years, I was chasing goals over goals to only feel more empty. And what I was really seeking was not only external validation, but dopamine hits. After we achieve a goal, we feel really good about ourselves, other people see us, and there comes in the external validation, and then you go back to your normal life. And that's when it really hit. And as we all know right now, we have a mental health crisis. Suicide rates have been an all-time high, and that's before the pandemic. Since the pandemic, the rates have even been going higher, so much so that in July of this year, there's going to be a phone number that you can call, just like 911. It's going to be 988, where if you're feeling any sort of depression or, God forbid, taking your own life, you can call 988. Now, I don't know about you guys, but our children are growing up in a world where they're going to be knowing about 988 if they can take their own life. I don't want to live in a world like that. I don't want to live in a world where we need to have the numbers 911 in case of emergency. And the problem I'm not saying it's work-life balance, but work-life balance is an illusion. And I'll tell you why. I'm here to speak about soul-life balance. And work-life balance will start with looking at the energies of yin and yang, or yang, either way that you would like to pronounce it, really. But the yang energy is about fire. It's about structure. It's about doing and achieving. If we look at work, that's what work is, right? There's deadlines, there's projects, there's meetings, all these things that we need to do. Well, in our life, Outside of work, we have obligations. Maybe it's taking care of our pets. Maybe it's taking care of our children or taking care of ourselves, I hope. Now, neuroscience teaches us that we have 70,000 thoughts a day. And 80% of those thoughts are from the day before. The real kicker is that 90% of those thoughts are negative. And that is why it is so important and crucial for us to slow down, listen to these voices, and let them be heard.